your magnetic recycling demonstration plant in Belfast. Where are we with that? Yeah, so Belfast is, we've made, made a huge amount of progress um, in the, uh, the 12 months or so since we've uh, acquired uh, the, 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 the UK uh, entity, the subsidiary. We've changed the name to Ionic Technologies. We're now getting all of the equipment in uh, to Belfast to start recycling magnets. We've already got probably an inventory of nearly 28 tonnes of, of magnets. Um, and we will be progressively starting that the commissioning uh, end, of, end of March, producing oxides by the end of June. And with those oxides, we'll be in a position to start greater collaboration with the downstream supply chain, the metal makers, the alloy makers, the magnet makers, to try and get that product uh, into the supply chain, demonstrate what these new emerging supply chains are gonna look like for, uh, for some of the groups that we're in discussions with uh, across government and, uh, and the EV supply chain. So you see um, Ionic being instigators of a change in narrative around supply chains. Obviously, China dominates a lot. You see you guys kind of shifting that narrative? Oh, look, I, I think um, we can help yeah. that yeah. process. I think there's a huge amount of work that needs to be done. Um, we are in a position where we have a basket of, of, of magnet and heavy rare earths that can help the process. Um, by, no, by no means is it ever going to be enough. Um, you know.